This is the first video in three videos to discuss concentrations and how to calculate concentrations commonly used in a molecular biology lab. What I'm showing you first is using an analytical balance to measure a small mass of a chemical by the name of bromphenol blue. This is commonly used in molecular biology labs as a chemical indicator or a dye to monitor electrophoresis in a DNA loading buffer. It can also be used as a pH indicator, I believe. The small mass will then be dissolved in approximately 400 milliliters of pure water or di distilled water, and I'm using a magnetic stir bar to do that. I'll then subsequently uh, bring this to a final volume of 500 milliliters using a volumetric flask. Okay, what you just saw me do was weigh out a set mass of a chemical called bromophenol blue. And in particular, we weighed out 0 0.0144 grams of this, and that's equal to the mass of the bromophenol blue. And then I then dissolved this in a final volume of 500 milliliters of water using a volumetric flask. All right. So what we can start to do is refer to this now chemical or this solution in terms of concentrations. And the simplest way to communicate in concentration in this particular case is this mass per volume units. So one of the simplest way is to break this down now into a simpler unit. So if we know we have 0 0.0144 grams and we had a total volume of 500 mils, we can then make this into grams per mil. So in this particular case, we'll take 0 0.0144 and divide it by 500 and that will give us how many grams we have per milliliter of solvent. So in this case, we would have 0 0.00029 grams of the bromophenol blue per milliliter of solvent. So that's our concentration, 0 0.000029 grams per milliliter. Now that's not the most user-friendly way to communicate about this, so we can start to move these decimal points to get the units that make this desirable. So 0 0.000029 grams per mil is equivalent to 0 0.029 milligrams per milliliter. I'm just moving this over to a smaller unit, so there's more of these smaller units in this bigger unit. So I moved it over 1,000 times, so move this decimal point over 3 point, and so I have 0 0.029 milligrams per mil. This is also equivalent to 29 micrograms per milliliter. All right, this is a more user-friendly way because it's this set units or integer type of units, and it's micrograms per milliliters. This is also equivalent to 2, 29,000 micrograms per liter. Since milliliters are smaller than liters, and I know I have 29 of these micrograms per milliliter, and there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter, I multiply this number by 1,000. So essentially, if I have 1,000 of these, I have 1,029 units. So 29,000 micrograms per liter is another way we can communicate this particular concentration. So based on the chemical you're using or the substance you're using, this is one way we can talk about concentration uh, in terms of the mass unit per volume. All right. In this particular case, this would be what we call weight volume. 